Have you ever heard of the phrase, in a gold rush, sell shovels? Well, today I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can capitalize on the gold rush that is the caffeine market. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Ari, and here we talk a lot about e-commerce, investing, crypto, NFTs, but mainly e-commerce. And the reason why is because with e-commerce, you can create a cash flow business or a business that's generating you income that then you can use to invest instead of trying to make an income out of investing, which is pretty difficult. It's not impossible, but it's really hard and stressful. And business in general is stressful, but the purpose of this channel is to help you out. So today we're gonna do a little case study on a $10 million coffee brand. However, they're not actually selling coffee, so that's why I used that analogy in the beginning. If you didn't put two and two together yet, then now at least you understand why I said that. But yeah, so the caffeine market, as you can see on my screen, is absolutely huge and growing. So that's the key word here is that it's continuously growing. So this is why it's a good opportunity. And what's also really cool about it is that caffeine in general involves a lot of different things. It's a wide, broad market. So, you know, a lot of things have caffeine, not just coffee. But the brand that we're gonna be doing a case study on today is called Fellow. And if you've never heard of this brand, well, today is gonna be your lucky day because this is actually a really, really cool brand. If you've ever visited any coffee shop, any local coffee shop, you'll probably see their products in their shelves. Maybe that's just me but I've seen that a lot around here in Minneapolis. But the thing is, they make very well-designed products that are catered to making really good cups of coffee. As you can see, their website is very simple, but it's very clean. They got a lot of great product photography, very congruent. I love this little thing right here coming across the screen that's so creative, and it's such a cool little addition to just make the website really fun. Now, before we dive into the specifics and look at their landing pages and their marketing so that you can get an idea of how you can do something similar, I do wanna talk about how I'm estimating the revenue or the valuation of these stores because a lot of people ask me that and I understand that these titles can be a little bit clickbaity, even though this is the truth, so it's not actual clickbait. These brands are doing these sorts of numbers and a lot of the times these are actually conservative estimates Estimates. So if we take a look at their traffic distribution, we can use similar web to view that. We can see that they average about 500,000 monthly visitors. And if you've ever ran an e-commerce store, the typical ratio of visitors to revenue is one to one. So of course, if you've never had a profitable e-commerce store, then you probably don't know that. Now I do also do a little bit of deeper research here and I found the founding date of this brand and also how much money they've raised. Now I don't know exactly how much money they've raised, but I can see that the last time that they raised money in August of 2021, they got $10 million from investors. So if you're getting $10 million from investors, then your brand is worth much more than $10 million. That's kind of how you have to think of this. Therefore, $10 million in the title of this video is actually a conservative estimate. And we can assume that for all of the case study videos that I do on this channel. So I just wanted to clear the air on that real quick. I'm sorry that took really long, but it was very important. And the next thing I wanna talk about is why you should even listen to this if you're new to the channel. Well, the main reason is because when you have some good inspiration like this, you can set your sights pretty high and have some really worthy goals to aim for. So when you see something like this, let's say you are a coffee lover, right? Then you can see that this brand has achieved 10 plus million dollars. That means that you can do it too. I know that may sound unrealistic and of course most people won't reach that. But the fact of the matter is that it's more than possible because I'm actually showing you an example of someone that's doing it. And that's the cool thing about life is that whether you set a really crazy high goal or a really small goal, you're not probably going to work that much harder to reach the bigger goal. So you may as well just set big goals, right? Like you're going to have to put in the work regardless if your goal is small or big. So just set a big goal. So hopefully all that makes sense. But let's take a look at their best selling product, which is this kettle. Their landing page is very simple. And we're actually going to take a look at it in mobile view because most people actually shop on their phones. If you didn't know, most of the traffic online is actually mobile traffic. Basically what they got is an announcement at the top. And what's cool is that on this announcement, they're actually 
pitching you on their newsletter. And then further down, you have a banner, just a banner on the header here where you can get free shipping on orders over $99. So something I learned recently is having your add to cart button above the fold. So what that means is that when somebody lands on this landing page, that ideally to get the highest conversion rate possible, you would have your add to cart closer to the top here so that they can just click add to cart right away. I don't think this store does that necessarily, but obviously they're still crushing it. So it's not a law or anything. Now, I really like on this landing page that they have these tabs. What's really cool with Shopify now is that you can actually achieve these tabs with some of the free themes. It's super cool, but Shopify has come out with some amazing themes. I use them myself because they're so fast. And again, now you can just customize them so much that you don't really need any paid themes. Of course, you can definitely buy a paid theme if you want to, but the free themes are more than good enough is what I'm trying to say. And you can achieve the same look with these little taps just on Shopify. And by the way, I finally was able to get an affiliate link with Shopify. I'm finally working with Shopify, the company that I've been committed to basically for the past few years. They finally saw my channel and we're finally working together. So I'm really happy about that. So if you want to mess around and try to achieve this look with a brand new Shopify store, you can use my link in the description to get it started and you'll get an extra free trial, I believe a 30 day free trial. And you're also going to be supporting the channel. So two birds with one stone, pretty good deal, right? Now, another thing to point out on this landing page before we move on is their sticky add to cart. That's a very clever feature, especially if you have a really long description like this, which they do, even though they have tabs, they still have a pretty long landing page and it makes sense. I mean, this is a product that's 150 bucks. You do have to sort of educate somebody on it because even though it looks beautiful, I don't really know how it works. And I'm assuming most people don't either. And then of course they got the reviews at the bottom and the recommended products, but throughout this whole landing page, they have that sticky add to cart, which just looks really nice and it's convenient because then you don't have to scroll all the way back to the top in order to add the product to cart. And there's a lot of apps that do this. Just look up sticky add to cart on the Shopify app store after you start your Shopify store and you'll be able to find some really, really good ones. Now this company has a really interesting marketing strategy. So of course they have Facebook, of course they have Instagram, right? And they do really well on Instagram actually because they have a really good aesthetic and people really vibe with this. So they've been able to build a really good audience on Instagram. However, what's really interesting in my opinion is that they're also building a community on YouTube. So as you see, they have nearly 4,000 subscribers, but they're posting basically every week. So every single week almost, they're posting a brand new video using their product. And I think that's so cool and creative. I don't see basically any brands doing this except for like Gymshark, some of the biggest brands in the world actually that have the best communities do post on YouTube. And I think it makes sense. YouTube is such an amazing place to build a community, to educate people. Look at this channel, right? I mean, we got 92,000 subscribers, which is just mind blowing. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you do that real quick. Um, we're trying to get to 100K. But yeah, I think that's a really cool idea and a really good way to make your business stand out is to create a YouTube channel and you can actually just post YouTube shorts if you don't really want to make long form content and that's still going to work really well. Another thing I want to point out before we take a look at their paid media, which is usually the last thing we look at in these case studies so that you can get some inspiration for your ads. If you're going to start something like this is this clean copy right here in their bio this way to a brighter, less boring morning. So they're using their Instagram bio to lead people to the store instead of just describing the entire brand. That's really clever especially considering that a lot of people are going to be browsing their Instagram. So this is a great way to funnel people into your website. And I just wanted to show you real quick on Alibaba.com. This is the best place for you to source products or at the very least get started with sourcing some products. Now, of course, you could drop ship from AliExpress. That's always an option or CJ drop shipping or any of these drop shipping softwares out there. But I still think that's a good way to start your business, not a great way to grow your business because you're going to run into a lot of quality issues unless you're using a sourcing agent which is an option but I don't want to get too much into that in this video but let's say you wanted to order some stock to your place or wherever you are let's say you do have a coffee shop and you want to actually start an e-commerce branch you can do that on alibaba.com so for example here you can order 36 pieces of this brewing kettle right here that looks very aesthetically pleasing it looks very quality 
and it's not too expensive. It's between two to five dollars, two to six dollars almost. So it's not gonna run you too much to order a little bit of stock and get your business started. And at that point, if you don't have money to use for paid ads, you can do what this brand is doing and start posting content on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok even, and try to start developing an audience. So not to my surprise, their ads are just beautiful. They're very on brand. I mean, of course, they have the beautifully photographed products here, but they also have some more relatable looking content that they're running. So as you can see here, this is the Instagram story placement and it just looks like a video that any of us would make except for the font, but this is clever. And I love that they actually are showing the website. That's really good marketing and honestly really easy to do. You could literally record an ad like this on your phone and you don't even need all these fancy animations. You can just use the TikTok native font or whatever font you use on your store. That will work just as well. But yeah, their ads are actually not rocket science at all. So they got a lot of like, oh, we just restocked a lot of those kind of ads that I'm guessing they're running for their retargeting audiences and they're running still a Kickstarter type of ad. So they're mentioning that they ran a Kickstarter, which is something pretty interesting. I've never used Kickstarter for anything, but it seems very interesting. So if any of you guys know about Kickstarter, let me know. That would be very interesting to know more about, but that's it. And then the rest of the ads are just Instagram story format. I really like this line, not your average grind grinder old brew grinder so as you can see they just sell it all i mean they sell the grinders the kettles and the mugs so this is your one-stop shop for getting utensils to make your coffee so full circle moment this is a perfect example of selling the shovels in a gold rush i hope that some of you guys take advantage of it i'm sure a lot of you love coffee in one of our recent videos we talked about coffee versus chai in india because somebody started a 60 million dollar brand around chai i'll link that video at the end of this video if you want to check it out but it was really interesting so i already know that a lot of you guys like caffeine and maybe you could do something like this and target chai lovers instead of coffee who knows? But that's about it. Before I leave, I want to encourage you to check out NetSphere. NetSphere is one of my businesses. It's an education-based community, as you can see here, unlike any traditional university. So it's kind of like a university vibe where we have a ton of fun, but we're also learning a lot, except it's not a university and it's not $10,000 a year. It's only $29 a month. So less than a dollar a day. Um, you can check it out in the description. There's a ton of cool benefits that you get from joining, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.